Hello everyone and welcome to the Extreme Tech channel. Today video I'm going to show you how to do a root on a 12 inch uh, 304 stainless flange and for that joint just follow me we're going to climb up on the high line up on the scaffold deck inside the hoarding. Here we are as you can see, any dig welding is considered as a confined space and requires a man watch with a constant monitor over the oxygen. Okay, this is what I got from day shift. There's a couple things I don't like here. First of all, uh, chain from the stainless pipe, uh, the chains from the chain fall touching that face of the flange. The joint actually it's stuck but it's not covered. It should be covered because you see all that dust. That's a no no. Now because I didn't tag that, I have to check, inspect everything, even if it's a two hole, as you can see not much room here. I should put a request uh, to strip that insulation for me so I can weld on this side. There's not much room, especially for the regular welding helmet. Okay, I gotta move that inside. Gotta che always check for the high-low. And the high-low here is really bad. I like to take my gloves off and uh, with the bare hands just to check. Oh yeah, it's, it's like 3-4 mil one side. 9 o'clock, 10, 11, 2 o'clock. Yeah, we're gonna put a request for five, 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 five feeders to do a transition for me. Before you start welding, make sure everything is nice and acceptable. Okay, that's done. Now for the, for the purge part, I'm gonna insert that balloon inside. We just, uh, just pump it with a regular bicycle pump. Make sure it seals all the way around. It's a uh, it's better than building a dam, putting all that glue inside. I'm gonna, I like to go like 10 to 12 inches from that weld zone. Make sure that hose is not on the way so you don't burn it. Okay, high low looks good now, it's acceptable. It's maybe up to one mil, but that should be all right. Okay, now I'm gonna close this end. Just got, uh, I just got uh, cardboard. I'm gonna tape it around, drill one hole in the middle. Make sure it's nice and closed, sealed all the way. There's no any air gaps. I'm gonna insert the perch hose. I go with one perch hose because uh, the, the reason why I go with that, it's only flange joint. That's why I put that balloon 10 inches. If it's, uh, for example, 90 and it's further away from that uh, purging zone, from the purge point, then I will go probably two or even three purge hoses on a 12 inch pipe. Okay, I put some uh, vent holes up on the top. I go with aluminum tape all the way around. Some people like to do masking tape. I like to go with aluminum tape. Doesn't really matter. Okay, it's a uh, cup uh, size 8. Tungsten stink out 10 mils. It's 1.8 tungsten. I'm going to use a 1.8 thick filler rod, 308L. And I'm going to start I'm just checking for the purge. I'm going to start up on the, from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. I'm not going to go from the bottom. I'm going to start here. Is there any particular reason? Yes, it is. I find out it actually works better for me when I start not on the bottom. I start on a, from 9 o'clock to 12. Is there any scientific reason behind it? I, probably it is. And uh, I actually can't explain it to you why. Because I don't know. I just <laughs> find out it works better for me. 
you got something to do with the purge. I don't, every time I start on the bottom, actually, all that Argon purge just goes down and it's not that nice and shiny. But every time I start, like from a uh, top side, and then do the bottom, it actually got better coverage of that purge. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm, uh, I'm doing constant feed here. Try to keep Rod in the in the middle of that puddle. Stretch that puddle, covering both sides. Make sure to wash. As I said, uh, this is uh, 110, 115 amps on the side. Okay, I'm not gonna tack any cat. Uh, I'm not gonna cut any tacks here. Just gonna leave it as is, covered with a big, with a, with a tape. It's uh, that's the opposite side. I'm just checking for the gap. Is it still the same or is it shrink? It looks the same. Just gonna cover that. And now I'm gonna start on this side, the same size same side just on the on the bottom now I'm gonna go from six to nine o'clock now you can see I just put that uh, cup inside I try to wiggle it inside I grew try to walk the cup on the, on the root pass that's the on the bottom I like to go a little bit harder, like maybe 120 amps. Keep the rod inside inside that bevel, inside that edge. And just feed it slowly. So you don't have any any stabs if you go too fast. Keep an eye on inclination of your tungsten and the rod. Make sure you melt it. Just go nice and slow, each step. With stainless can be sometimes a little bit tricky, you know, if you go a little too fast you can miss edge, as edge but you can see it on the, on the stainless, when you check the root you can see it easy. Okay, so I did the bottom up to 9, now I'm gonna go other side the bottom. Okay, as you can see that moved that insulation for me, so I actually got more room, but still not enough for regular helmet, for regular uh, welding helmet. Okay, I got my 3M uh, welding mask with a P100 pancakes. It's really helpful, especially on a tight spot where it's not much room. You can find it online. They're not that expensive, but it helps a lot, especially if you got lots of field welding. Okay, this side I'm gonna go freehand. I support my. Uh, my hand, uh, my put my elbow on uh, on my knee just to keep it, try to keep it steady. The same thing, feeding uh, feeding rod, keep it inside. Okay, once you reach uh, your limit with the free hand, just you can you can just press uh, your nozzle and start walking the cup on on the root. Helps a lot using both techniques. You know, you can start like lately. I did all my roots and pretty much free handing on the bottom. Once I got up to the nine, eight, nine o'clock, then I then I start walking the cup. Just reduce fatigue, you know. It's probably age thing, but we're not going to talk about that. Okay, now from the 9 up to, actually from the 3 o'clock up to 1 o'clock on this side. As you can see I still didn't cut any tacks out. All I did was welding between the tacks. That's how you keep your, especially on the flange, that's how you keep your flange straight and square. Now I'm gonna cut the tacks. But that's not the only reason why you don't cut the tacks. Every time you cut the tack, you put some air inside from that grinder. 
and then you gotta wait for purge. What I like to do, as a, as a show, that just while between attacks, and then just got all three at once, and then cover with the tape again. Let it purge a little bit, maybe ten more minutes, and you should be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna weld all that uh, where the tax was. Okay, now that's all done. It's all welded. Just got a couple of arc strikes, arc marks. Uh, because it's a scratch start torch, I'm gonna just run a little bit grinder. I don't want any, I want a clean shot. That's a 100% x ray. So I don't want any indication. I'm just gonna run a little bit. Just a little, grind, a little bit grinder around so you don't have any tungsten inclusions, just in case. Okay, this for the hot pass. Same thing, 1.8 uh, filler wire, 130 amps. Uh, I don't know, did I mention, but for the purge, I like to go with the 50. And before I start welding, I reduce down to 20, 25. For the gas flow. Okay, just uh, when you're doing hot pass, you don't have to really go really hot. As I said, I'm going 130. Just make sure you got nice tight steps so you cover everything. Okay, that's it. Hot pass is done. For this uh, welding procedure for this joint is a uh, dig root, hot pass, and two pass of fill, and the rest is stick. We're not gonna do stick video for this movie as you can see root is alright that's why I like to go heavy root so you can actually go 1.8 and uh, 130 amps on a hot pass so you're not gonna have any suck back uh, root is okay I just making sure there's no any mistake but uh, anyway everything gotta be grind flash they're gonna use a carburetor plug to hydro test that flange and that's it for this video i hope you guys uh, like it enjoy it learn something new if you got any suggestions please feel free to comment and uh, we'll see you in the next one take care and play safe